Oh my gosh, our electric is arrived. Babe, 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 babe. I know, I know, I gotta get the dolly. I gotta oh get the dolly. Oh my gosh, our electric that just arrived from Seattle somewhere. So I have to move the van so that he can load in. This is amazing! Hazards are on. So this crate has to fit through these doors. So we just gotta see. It's gonna fit? You know what's in here? Power! Power. Oh my God. You want to get it out? Huh? Come on. How are we going to heat your milk? Good packing here, Light Harvest. Thank you for the special delivery. Ooh, you know what that is right there? Power. Are you making a picnic? I am making an electric picnic. I think we're only gonna connect our DC today, but we just need to lay everything out on the ground so we can see it, but we need a bigger blanket than this. We have a 100 amp lithium iron battery. It's from Lion Energy, which is funny because also- Oh, our son has a company? Because our son's name is Lion, so it's kind of funny. We got everything from Light Harvest Solar, and it was from the recommendation of Jared Tachi, who has the most awesome van life, van related. And it's John and Miles up there, right? I believe so, and Miles is the one who helped me. He knows his stuff, so. We're excited to get this together. They gave us pretty much everything that we need. And at this point, it should just be, you know, some cutting and some plugging and playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I just wanted to take a second to explain what our schematic looks like uh, for our electrical. Having a diagram is extremely important, especially with this part where your mind just has a lot to digest. If you're not a pro at this, if this is your first time, you're gonna rely a lot on diagram. So here's our diagram right now. Um, we have a um, single panel solar kit. We have one battery. We have a 3000 watt inverter, a 30 amp DC to DC alternator charging so that we can charge while we're driving and then we also have an AC DC distribution breaker box where all of our wiring is going to be housed and then we have a positive and negative distribution block as well from our battery we'll be connecting our inverter and that's going to be connected with a 400 amp fuse from the positive terminal of the battery and then we also have a shore power which is the 120 volt plug that you see on the right as well as an AC DC distribution fuse breaker box to keep everything really nice and neat and from that that distribution block we have a 70 amp fuse that's going to go to the positive distribution block I hope that makes sense I'm going to link this schematic down below in case it is something that you might want to use in your build This is our multi plus 3000 watt Victron inverter. It's a 12 volt, 300 watt, 120 amp inverter. This thing is a big boy and it's really heavy. So it also comes with this manual here, um, which I'm going to look at. And then we have a mounting plate and some screws over here. What happened, Bob? We got you on a leash right now? Sorry. Whoops. Can't make it to the computer now, can you? What's wrong, Bob? Ah. Lego land. Isn't that a nice surprise? Would have used any different battery. Nope. This is 14 and a quarter inches. So the bracket will go there, and then the inverter should hang to about here. Rest on these one by threes. Now, hopefully, all your math is right, and we should be able to finesse it into there. Perfect. This is like the tightest, most perfect design ever. And it was so intentional. We designed it to be just like this. Of course from I did. The beginning. All right, so we have every variable of screw here for the mounting plate for the Victron converter. Then we have uh, some of our fancy little door screws, uh, an attempt to latch the pantry closed, uh, another attempt to keep our drawers closed. And then I figured this is our last resort for the pantry. If we can't keep the pantry closed, we're gonna use the Dungeons and Dragons like, you're stuck pantry, that's it. So everyone wonders where we receive our mail. So we decided to put a mailbox in the van to make sure that we don't miss out on any deliveries, especially oh. the letters from all of you guys. I think this one would be really cool on the hood of the car, like a Rolls Royce. 
we just have like. Is this your playlist? You just pulled a knife on me right now? Or are you trying to cut your way out? Inverta going in. I really hope your measurements are right. Okay, moment of truth. And Victron, I have no idea what you feed these things. They are so heavy. My back, my whole back is broken right now. The whole thing is broken. But I got a little bit of, got a little bit of energy left. Hold it! Happen. I don't know what happened. Okay, so let's try it again. All right. Is it on? Yeah. It's on. Looks like it. I think it's on. I think it's not on. I think I just crushed the fan. For real. Okay, slowly. Oh, uh, so I know why it's not on. Why? It's not on because it's on the two by four. No drop. It's on there. So there's a fly that is fucking driving me. Whoa, whoa! F bomb on the channel. You can't say that, Papa. Cover your ears, your mom's talking Phil Farn. He's still angry at me because I put him in the straps. Mm -hmm. you know, Everyone's angry right now. Come on, man, what's the next move? Okay. Stop um, cursing. You're like the little Houdini. You're like baby Houdini. How are you escaping the straight jacket I made for you? Oh my, baby Houdini, baby Houdini. <laughs> Is it really bad that I find like complete joy in this? Baby Houdini, you've escaped. He's like the new David Blaine. Okay, so we are just figuring out where our components are going. We're just trying to make everything neat. I just made a upholstered little panel that everything can go on, just so everything's nice and neat. We're cross-referencing with our schematic to see how we can make this look as functional, as aesthetic, as simple as possible so that the wires travel the shortest distance that they really need. So and that way- The yeah. lion's cutting the ladder down because it's too tall. So that way, if we have any issues, that we'll be able to fix it. So it's taken most of the day for us to get to this point, but we're finally at the point where we're crimping our wires. We're first setting up the solar to go to our charge controller. So I'm gonna list everything that we used for this whole process in the description but we got a lot of advice from other YouTube channels. So shout out to every YouTube channel that helped us, which I'll also link those videos. I feel like I'm doing something illegal. Although this could look kind of suspect. All right, that's pretty rapid. That looks great. Super nice. What a vibe. Slave driver. We're supposed to be going to sleep right now. I know, it's like 10, 15 like 20 o'clock. I think it's done. That's it? Yeah, great job. Does it look good? Ow! You burned me with that thing. <laughs> it is day two of the electrical install and we came back to Home Depot because we needed some supplies. Lion has the most important got, supply. Bobby? He's a little bit tired. Some Red Bull. But uh, basically we needed to get some breakers for this breaker box airplane every time I talk there's an airplane over over us so we came to get some, some supplies for the breaker box so we got some fuses some breakers some lugs uh, and hopefully we can get this distribution block set up and we had to get some Red Bull And then I'll call you back when I am looking at the at the AC side. I just wanted to confirm. I did get some breakers and that kind of thing before. I just wanted to make sure that I'm going to the right place with my grounds and my neutral ones, etc. So Tanya's on the phone with Miles from Light Harvest Solar, and um, there's a rainstorm outside, and we're working out of the garage. We're trying to get our solar system straight. Actually, just our whole energy system straight. So she's working on figuring out the fuse box right now. And Lion is crying right here. We've been 
putting these like wire caps on just to make everything look pretty really neat. These two wires, well, these two holes are going to the batteries and then we're just drilling another one that's just gonna house the solar panel wires only. These are called bushings? Yes. Bushings. Bushings. You gotta work hard to be this cute. And that just looks so much neater than having a raw hole. We're taking our little wall into the bench to see if what we designed fits in here. Super beautiful. So I'm just going to connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. Lines narrating this clip. We fit this pretty tight and we're probably going to cut that corner off. But for now, I don't want to mess with all of that. So I'm going to connect these batteries and it's like the most straightforward thing. What you do is unscrew this and I take my positive and then you just screw it in. Pretty straightforward. We'll end up tightening everything in a bit, but this is our first fit. And it's as tight as I can get it with my hand. Just like that. Yeah. What are you doing out there in the swamp boxes? So the manual says that when you're connecting your charge controller, you should connect the battery to the charge controller first and then connect the solar cable um, to the positive and negative of the charge controller. So this is what's coming from the solar. I'm just gonna push these wires through. Hang on, there's a second lug coming. There, there, and then I'll probably clamp it down like right around there somewhere to keep it from being crazy. Right oh my God, Mike, I'm not meant to touch these. Push things. it in all the way. And then what's happening there? So the bulk light's coming on. Why is that coming on? Because we have battery we power. Have power coming from the battery. <laughs> and then what does this red button do? And by the way, the funniest joke in the world would be if you guys trusted us to do any of this stuff or if you sued us. Because one, we're not going to give you anything. And two, we're just rigging this too on YouTube. So I, I don't know. We're crushing it though. So you can follow our lead, but we can't be responsible for you guys. <laughs> but Lion, on the other hand... <laughs> oh, that's right, I forgot. We completely know what we're doing. And if you need us to build a van for you, that look this fresh. The email. Ooh, it looks great, but we don't know if it works. I mean, it was just blinking. We know it works. Am I going to burn my hand off right now? No, you won't burn your hand. Okay, we gotta get back to you. It's getting crazy right now. So while we were splicing the solar panel wire, it looks like we have um, just cut a little bit of the, um, what do you call it? The wire housing. So we're actually gonna go back and heat shrink this just to make sure that it's super safe. Um, so we're gonna add some heat shrink to this and then reconnect these wires. In, which goes on top of the cables. Maybe should I put this back in again? No. Why not? No, that's not funny. That's not funny. Don't do that. Oh my God. <laughs> What's wrong, baby? You just like stress me out. What if I take this right here? You're like Dee Dee in Dexter's lab. You, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? No, you don't. Yeah, I watched the show with you. You made me watch it before. No, I've never. blows up and then blows up our whole van it's, it's a double l can't do that we don't have one we don't have a socket this small so we're, we're on just... limited tools and then now we're at my mom's house so we're like on super limited tools mm -hmm. this is like the travel kit 
You know what? This don't gotta be that tight to be connected. So we're just using this to tighten them and then we're And gonna... since Milwaukee hasn't came through yet, you know, since Milwaukee hasn't came through yet, now we when you first flicked it, I saw the float blink green, and I saw the bulk blink blue. I actually don't know what any of this means right now. Cool. It says that the configuration for the charge controller needs to be according to the kind of battery that you have. So our batteries are lithium iron phosphate batteries. So this is number seven. It's a really, really small dial. If you look over here on the charge controller, there's this little circle dial with numbers. So I'm gonna make sure that the arrow is pointed to number seven so that this recognizes that I have a lithium uh, battery. And so now we're just situating these cables. So now we're gonna connect our solar officially. Good. Yeah. And we've got power. Yes. <laughs> mm, it looks good. So right now we have the charge controller working. And so we have the battery being charged. And we're gonna go work on the distribution panel so we actually can connect. And our oven's back in place, hiding our solar entry point which travels behind this whole situation here yeah. comes up right there into our MPPT controller mm -hmm. and begins the distribution of all that solar power. Hey. Bobby, you got power! <laughs> Fire in the house. Fire in the house. I'm gonna put you on fire in the house. There's some duck phases 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 in the house. Being a sun auctioneer. 298, 289, 289. Can we get 300, 300, 290, 290, 290? Come on, Miami. Come on, Miami. Can we get 288, 288, 287? We're going the wrong direction. Come on, 288. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Miami. Can we get 300, 300, 300, 300, 300? Come on, free people, free people need 300. 295, 296, 297, 297, 298, 298. Two